Hey, what's up guys? Chip Walters here with an exciting new course in creating photoreal interiors with Blender 2.8 and Eevee. As many of you know, Eevee is Blender's new real-time rendering engine. It's the first engine of its kind to be embedded in a full 3D application suite and it's very exciting to work with. The goal of this course is five-fold. First, to provide the first in-depth course about Eevee lighting. Second, to teach users how to render an interior scene in Blender 2.8 EV in as simple and straightforward way as possible. This includes importing files, adding materials, setting up lighting, and creating final renders and animations. Third, it's for current 2.79 users who want to fast track into 2.8 and EV rendering. And fourth, is to help people migrating from another application and be able to do all the above with minimum time spent learning Blender 2.8. Each of these lessons are extremely compressed content-wise. This means there is a lot of information in a very short period of time. All videos are less than 10 minutes long. The suggestion is to watch them once straight through without taking notes or trying it out on your own and then watch it a second time and use the play, pause, rewind to go over it carefully. We've had over 18 beta testers putting this course through its pace over the past number of weeks, and it comprises 26 compact and highly streamlined lessons. So you may be wondering, who is this course for? It's for anyone wanting to be able to learn how to create great lighted interior scenes in Blender using Eevee, whether or not they've used Blender 2.8 before. It's also for users of SketchUp and other 3D applications which can export compatible meshes. This course will go over enough Blender basics to get you started, import your files, prepare them in Blender, and create final lighting scenes for render and animation without having to know anything about UV mapping. This course is also for Blender 2.79 users who are new to Blender 2.8 and want to learn more about how Eevee works and how to create photoreal results using Eevee. So who is this course not for? Well, first off, it's not for the casual user wanting to get started in 3D. This is not an introduction to 3D course. It's also not for someone who expects to learn how to model in Blender. And it's not for people who cannot learn by watching videos. This course is probably not for really advanced EV experts who already have a full working knowledge of EV and have successfully created photoreal interior renderings and animations. So why did I create this course? Many of you have seen some of my Blender tutorials as well as my just released free Gumroad courses on the amazing camera matching app FSpy and free EV glass shader. And you might also know me as the co-inventor of KitOps, the radical new asset and kit bashing tool for Blender just recently released for 2.8. The other inventor of KitOps is none other than the amazing Master Xeon 1001, the man behind the curtain of top Blender add-ons, HardOps, and box cutter. And over the past years, I've created over 120 videos on my YouTube channel. I originally started as a way to share some quick 3D tips or tricks, but gradually tried to advance to longer and sequence courses there. And if I had to say, many of them were pretty crappy. The good news is over time, I started piecing together what actually works and doesn't. And here are my current takeaways. People watch tutorials that are clear, precise, and above all, short. They want to see stuff get done. And since I'm a designer, I believe design is important, not only of the videos, but also of models being used in the videos. It's important to always try and provide insights into information that is not considered known by all, even the experts. I also try and make videos approachable and easy to understand. Cut out anything that doesn't contribute to viewers' understanding. And don't ramble. Speak clearly. Break up longer videos into smaller bite-sized chunks, and for me, most importantly, plan it all out. Ad-libbing a whole video typically just wastes time. This certainly doesn't mean my courses are superior to others, but they are getting better. For what it's worth, I've done a lot of photoreal interior work using Unity and some in Unreal, and a bunch using AR and VR as well. So what is so special about Eevee? First off, with Blender's new Eevee real-time render, even the most complex scene takes seconds, not hours, to create photo real renderings. This equates to you being able to create gorgeous, high definition, walkthrough animations of your designs in orders of magnitude less time than conventional photo real rendering systems. You can also create very large photo real 4K and 8K still renderings, complete with lens blur, bloom, and volumetric lighting effects, along with camera depth of field, all in mere seconds. And you can tweak your lighting objects and materials while in EV mode, giving you unprecedented control over scene and shot setup. You may ask, what is this PBR? Well, PBR stands for Physically Based Rendering, and PBR materials are used at Pixar and a number of other top-tier 3D animation studios to create stunningly realistic renders. Also, PBR materials are typically used with objects that are UV mapped, and for many Blender users on a deadline, UV mapped objects can be confusing, tedious, and it is always time consuming. That said, 
In Blender, we can create PBR materials which do not rely on UV mapping. So it's easy for Blender users to create and use an existing library of PBR materials and then apply them to their scene objects. So in this course, I'll go over how to create your own non-UV specific PBR materials and libraries in Blender and how to texture your Blender objects with those materials and how to light your scene for maximum effect, set up a walkthrough camera animation, and how to use Eevee to render and quickly export your animation. So a little bit more about this course. I purposely have set a limit at under 10 minutes for each video. I wish to pattern myself after the incredible and short videos made by Webflow, a product I use quite a lot. I'm not the fantastic speaker that the Webflow spokesperson is, but his videos are short, sweet, and to the point, and they take multiple times to watch to get the content right. And my goal is similar. I want to compress the information with the idea users can watch each video two or three times if necessary. I've downloaded and watched too many rambling videos where the instructor says the same thing over and over, and all I want to do is get to the meatball. I understand my viewer's time is valuable, and I want to maximize on the return. One of the key benefits of compressing the information this way is that information that is already known to the viewer can be processed very quickly without having to go through a lengthy lecture on known subjects. For instance, using this technique, someone familiar with Blender 2.8 only spends a couple of minutes watching a video on creating non-UV specific materials to see if there's anything new, and if not, they can quickly skip to the next subject. And if a new Blender user wants to go over it in more detail, they can slow the video down or watch it multiple times. Also included with the course are all the scenes, textures, and models for you to take apart and use in your own productions. I hope this video helps answer any questions you have about the course. I'm excited about finally getting to share it with the rest of you. Happy blendering, everyone!